Hi, I'm Chris Wilson from Grinding Gear Games. Thanks so Hi, Chris. much for joining us here today. And today is a day of our Path of Exile. You're going to find Great. out a lot of awesome stuff we've been working on. Before we get started, though, I wanted to mention that there are Twitch drops that you can win. Below the live stream, there are some instructions for signing up and linking your Twitch account with your Path of Exile account. And if you do that, you'll be eligible to receive the drops. So today's live stream has got four sections. They say you should start your show with a bang, so we're going to start right off with Path of Exile 2. After that, oh, we're going to show Path of Exile, Path 2. Of Exile Ultimatum. This is an expansion for regular Path of Exile that's coming out literally next week. After that, we're going to be joined by Ziggy D, who's going to host a Q&A where he asks me a whole bunch of questions from Twitch chat. So if you have any questions about the various reveals, make sure to keep them for the Q&A. Then there's going to be a live episode of the Bay Class Podcast, where Taki Cat and his crew of Path of Exile veterans are going to discuss all of the things we've announced today. They'll be joined by Rory Rackham, who's the Grinding Your Games developer who was in charge of the development of the Ultimatum League. All right, let's get started. You're probably wondering, why has it been so long since we last showed you any Path of Exile 2 footage? And honestly, this is because the project is so important to us that we are definitely taking our time to make sure that we make the best possible action RPG. Let's watch a new trailer. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Among ancient ruins, evil grows once more. The seed of corruption advances, spreading dread and despair. Oh. We must give chase. Oh. These sands hide countless secrets. Three thousand years of dormant malevolence. We must hunt down the seed and put an end to this madness. If Rayclast is to survive. Oh. oh! Help us! Help us! Help us! That trailer really shows what we have achieved with Path of Exile 2. I am so proud of the efforts of the entire team in putting that together. At ExileCon, we announced that Path of Exile 2 is a true sequel to Path of Exile. So that means a new seven-act campaign, it means a whole new skill gem system, new items, new monsters, character classes, all the ascendancy classes are completely new, it's got cutting-edge next-generation graphics as you just saw. Basically, it's everything you would expect from a sequel to Path of Exile. But we're not just throwing away our legacy, we're embracing it. Both campaigns will be fully playable from within the same game plan. You'll be able to play through the original wow. Path of Exile storyline or the new Path of Exile 2 campaign on the way to the shared endgame. All of your old characters will still be playable, and of course any microtransaction purchases you've made in Path of Exile will carry on to the sequel. At ExileCon, we introduced the dark forests of the island of Ogham, where you start your journey. Today, we're proud to showcase Path of Exile 2's second act, which takes place in the Vastiri Desert. Oh, man. Welcome to Path of Exile 2's second act. As you saw in the trailer, Act 2 is centered around a caravan of Marraketh called the Ardura who live in the Vastiri Desert. You're chasing another caravan from an opposing tribe called the Faradun. There's a set of large ancient gates blocking the progress of the caravan through a desert pass, so you're being sent through the Traitor's Passage to unlock them. We shall wait here, Jingak. But the military carts have departed for the gates. There's still flasks. <laughs> Path of Exile 2 is a lot more than just new acts. We want combat to feel both brutal and responsive, even at low levels. We're ensuring that each weapon type has unique and different mechanics. Each weapon That's a class spear. feels different to play, and today we're going to start by demonstrating the new spear weapon class. Spears yes. are a weapon class favoring mobility with both melee and ranged attack options. To that end, each spear will grant you at least one mobility skill. 
In this case, the spear comes with both an engage and disengage skill. When you engage, it increases your melee damage for a short time and that really encourages you to be mobile during combat. Oh, wow, cool. One of the skills we're using here is called Whirling Slash. When you use Whirling Slash, it creates a sandstorm that grows in size each time you use the skill. When you leave the sandstorm, it explodes, dealing damage to nearby monsters. A great way to do that is to use the Disengage skill, which makes you fly backwards and throw projectiles. POE 2, each area's mini-boss is a much more substantial fight with interesting mechanics. You'll be able to find at least one mini-boss in each area of the game. One he thing I to love turn his aura on. in particular is that it destroys the ceiling when it slams the ground, letting in more light. Clever players will notice oh. that if they're standing in the light, then they're not going to have any rocks falling on their head. The rapid assault skill that we're using against this boss does three rapid stabs, followed by a fourth step that deals more damage and can stun, if you're willing to commit to a long attack time. While developing the skills for Path of Exile 2, we were really thinking a lot about designing skills that could be cancelled early to dodge, or you can commit to the full attack for maximum damage. Cool. skills we're using here is called Spear Field, which creates an area of spears coming out of the ground that impel monsters who walk into them, causing them to bleed. Wow. As the monsters move towards you, they take damage, so using your mobility skills as a way to move away from them is a great strategy here. In Path of Exile 2, we've invested a lot in our animation system. I'm sure you're noticing the animations are looking a lot better yeah, than the Yeah, animations before. look sick. But there's sick. also a lot of subtle detail, like characters having different run animations depending on how fast they're moving. When we use a Quicksilver flask here, you can see the character changes to a sprinting animation. Awesome. Yeah, great use of dynamic, um, dynamic animations. Now that we've arrived at the Ancient Gates, we're going to show you another of the new weapon classes in Path of Exile 2, Crossbows. Crossbows are special in that they grant attack skills implicitly. This crossbows. particular crossbow grants Power Shot, which is a high damage single target attack. In order to modify what Power Shot does, you're going to need to equip Bolt skill gems, which change the type of bolts that are loaded into the crossbow. What? Here we've got Sick! three different Bolt skills that the character can switch between depending on the situation. Armor piercing bolts. Incendiary bolts. Permafrost bolts can be used to disrupt packs of enemies to prevent them from closing in on your position. You can then follow up with armor piercing bolts to do plenty of damage. Join me in, in this area, we're helping Asala, leader of the Ardura, to open the ancient gates and let the caravan through. You load your bolts. That is so awesome. Because the bolt types are the skill gems, support gems that are added to them will modify whatever the skill is that you're using. Here we're going to add multiple projectiles to our incendiary bolt. Oh man! Oh! In Path of Exile 2, we're doing a lot more interesting things with monster packs. 
Here you can see some of the monsters patrolling around. Oh, rocks jump! Oh, that's cool! Wait, oh, they're actual enemies! I thought they were just boulders. They're at, you saw them animate at the start there. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> they're just boulders that roll at you. Alright, Chris, I think we've seen enough of your, uh, of your crossbow gameplay, Chris. Now we're coming to another example of a Path of Exile 2 miniboss, Le'im the Impaler. <laughs> True yelp. Whoa, the damage. Come on, Chris, you're in hardcore. Careful. Careful, Chris. You don't play softcore, remember? You're in hardcore. Careful. The boss has dropped another type of crossbow, a siege crossbow. This crossbow grants the siege cascade skill. The skill is also modified depending on what type of bolts you're using. Wow, okay, cool. So, the crossbows are different. Oh, and you... Okay, that's really cool. And then your bolts function differently. And look at that, it's like a light... Oh, okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Crossbows are really cool. I, I guess the make or break is how many crossbows they have at release. Weapon choice is more than stat stick, yeah. Yep. That's so cool, dude. That's awesome. We tried to add a lot more level details to combat in Path of Exile 2. You might notice that the monsters who die while burning have charred corpses. We really want to make sure that there's a feeling that as you leave the oh, battle, cool. there's clear evidence of what combat took place there. Oh, that's awesome. Now I know that they're doing this just for show, but the slow pace of the gameplay really reminds me of Last Epoch, and that makes me very happy. I know that they're, they're making it slow, like you're probably going to be faster than this, but... <laughs> I'm loving all the banter about the uh, voice commands. No item drops? See, that's that's what you're seeing as well, right? Items are hardly dropping. Still wisdom scrolls though. Still wisdom scrolls. He's using a filter. No, I, I'm I'm sure. I know that's a joke, but I'm sure that this is with smart loot. This is this is definitely with smart loot. This is no filter. This is the perennial king, the leader of the Faradun. His goal here is to prevent you from catching the See, look, at look, any cost. See, look, look, the health the health bar stays. The health bar stays. Oh, that's so good! You don't realize how good that is! Oh! 
Oh, yes, dude. Yes. And the bosses look really good. This is just an act boss. has gone on long enough. The king is not the man I once knew. And sense swallow me if I do any more to enable him. You plan to continue your pursuit, yes? You will not catch him. Not without me. We cannot follow through the raging sands. Let us return yeah, to I think it's quests. Sashiro, I think it's quests, yeah. This is the Ardura Caravan, your town in Act 2. So cool. Oh, look how awesome this is. I am Asala, the Sekima of the Ardura. I care not where you came from, nor what caste you might have been there. All that matters is that you have shown yourself capable in battle, Jinga. Remain a friend to the Ardura, and you shall have so nothing good. but respect from us. From what your shade has told us, the situation is dire. This Balbalic will live or die based on her usefulness in pursuit of the seed of corruption. Ask her what questions she Yeah, it's a chisel. Then we, Adura, will decide her well, fate. Well, actually, yeah. No, I guess it is a chisel, yeah. You need not trust me. You will see the truth of my information soon enough. I ask nothing of you. Only that you do what you know is right. One of the things we really wanted to do in Act 2 was to use the mobility of the caravan to allow the player to choose how they explore the act. Here you're given four oh, options cool. on how to proceed. Choose your own adventure acts. The lost men that inhabits the Mastodon Badlands. They worship the bones of those long ago beasts. And that faith has given rise to powerful tasks that can somehow call on storms and strike enemies with lightning. The king wishes to steal these objects of worship and use their lightning in war. I guess it's nothing new, just think Act 8. Or even Act 4, but still. You tread upon a valley of the dead. Do not do so flagrantly. Or Act 2 bandits, yeah, true. Light. Cleanse what corruption you can. And we I just wonder if it changes anything. To protect your flank. Once you've picked your destination, the caravan will travel to that area and come to a stop so that you can disembark and go on your quest. Speedrunner's anger, if if, if the old campaign is quicker. Skill as a quest reward, now would be okay. a great time to switch back to spears and use some ranged abilities. You're not going to switch from crossbows to spears, dude. What? What's your what's your Storm skill tree? Are you doing that? Oh my goodness! This guy's such a noob. That is that leveling is so inefficient. Oh my god, that's the a cool other skill. skill. We're using here is called Blazing Lance. Blazing Lance creates a trail of fire from the ground, dealing damage over time. However, if you're willing to stand in place for long enough, you can throw a second spear that will fan the flames for much more damage. We've just found a unique spear. It's called oh. Devata's Wind. This spear has an extra modifier that synergizes really well with Storm Spear. When you disengage, you get two additional projectiles on your projectile skills. Oh, cool. This is a showcase, Das 3. That is definitely, definitely a force drop.
There is so much to see in all of this that is going to take a few more watches to really understand already how much work has been put into this game. To part of Exile 2. Like, there's, there is so much. Because they're showcasing not just spears at the moment, they're showcasing not just like new skills and new mechanics, there is so much going on behind the scenes here as well. This is going to be a big day, guys. We're going to be making some good videos, I think. Got to get them out as quick as we can as well. Good content out as quick as we can. Fewer mobs also, yeah. Well, it is Axe. This is only Act 2, so we do have to remember that. Dual HP bars is so good, dude. Come on, Chris, you're on hardcore. You almost died again, dude. Careful. Oof. If you have any questions about what you just saw, we'll be doing a Q&A later on. Oh, man. Definitely won't be